if the same thing happened in some countries, we could be having a national holiday or something. Uh, that is true. Yeah, no, you, you, saw, you, saw, or something. you saw when uh, Croatia, when Croatia, uh, it took position to in the World Cup. Right? Yes. Do you know how much it was received? Mm. Even that it did not come to the top. But you remember what even during Olympics Museveni did to his uh, yeah to, to the, the gold medalist yeah they were they were dead. and you know it's Kenya which was number one in Africa yes actually our sportsman came in without getting even a no, getting noticed I think that's quite discouraging. quite unfortunate if you are watching and you are concerned if you are watching and you are somebody in the sports ministry please do something I think we are not encouraging we are not motivating our sports people enough as we should do. There should be a red flag somewhere. There should be a splash party. I know they went to the state house and some few rewards, but I don't know why we are not feeling them as Kenyans. Do we blame the media or do we blame the ministry? Or do we blame, we are not giving these people a enough motivation as they deserve. Uh, it could be a different story if this was maybe a European country yeah. or a country that really values sports or something. It's quite unfortunate in Kenya, politics takes the largest percentage of discussion mm. because uh, if you go even to uh, Mutaani, mm. people don't discuss uh, athletics, mm -hmm. they discuss politics. They discuss politics. So again, that one tells us how much we've misplaced our priorities. We should be able to talk about what is bringing the country glory. Mm. And since uh, athletics is one of them, mm. we should be able to give them prominence. Yes. And quite unfortunate. Uh, that's the reason why I told you that it has been reported as just by the way. Yeah, just and by the way. Maybe they could have even gone without being noticed. I don't know how many Kenyans started to watch uh, the youngsters participate uh, in the field. Yeah, they probably. Were not watching. Uh, watching. <laughs> it's true. Malimu, let's get to what Kenyan love and that is politics. Uh, let's do a bit of youth and politics before we call uh, it a day for now. There is a story here that says that the DP is uh, saying that politicians should unite to get the country back to track uh, politically. It's like uh, there's a problem. Is, do you feel that the country is not in its track politically? <laughs> okay. Uh, is he calling other people to come yeah, on his side? calling people to come. It's a story. I didn't want to refer to it directly because it's like we are through with paper review. But on page six, Ruto urges leaders to help get back the country back to track. Page six. So Deputy President Ruto has urged leaders from across the political divide to work together to get the country back to its growth track. He has uh, said that judiciary ruling halting the BBI has given the country a golden chance to re-evaluate Kenya's development priorities. Now let us agree to embark on the plans that we had, like the Big Four agenda has been stalled by the BBI. He spoke during the church service, blah, blah, blah. But now you can see he's calling people to get the country back to its track. Do you agree first in the first um, place that uh, the country is not in its track? Because getting it back means it's not in its track. Of course, in terms of economics, yes. Because uh, again, it's not the politics that is making the us lose uh, the economic track. Mm -hmm. We can say that it probably is because of the pandemic, because mm -hmm. it's really affected not only in Kenya. Only but it's like referring to the fall of BBI. But now, <laughs> now that BBI, BBI, has BBI fallen. is not the reason why Kenyans are not together. <laughs> <laughs> we, at whichever time when we are headed to the elections, yes. Kenyans will be divided. Let's be very sincere with ourselves. Uh, uh -huh. So, I do not know exactly what the, the DB was. Um, uh, it's just a plain PR. Because the truth is, at any given time, when we headed to, the, to politics, mm. look at even Uganda. That one will always be there, even in the US. But you see now the difference is this. Uh, uh, it's saying the leaders needed to come together. What is, because he's having one of the biggest offices in, in the country, the second in position. Has he tried to reach, has he humbled himself to go and meet the other people? Mm. He's only telling them, come to my side. Mm. So 
the first thing that we should be able to see from the deep, then he should lead by an example. He should be able to humble himself, probably go and reach to his uh, competitors and tell them, this is not time for competition. We are supposed to give the country, take the country back. If we can be able to see that one from him, then he could have done something which probably nobody has done. Mm. But you see, he's talking from his office, eh? mm. and then like he's using that office and tell them, it's either you come to me, or you leave me, or you you go to you, you go or, to or you, we all pay, or <laughs> you <laughs> perish or, or something like yeah. that. If he's very sincere with the statement that he's making, then <laughs> let us see him even going to the resident of Rairo Dinga, mm. Kalonso Msioka, mm. saying that the country is bigger than an individual. And uh, since probably you guys think that uh, by coming to my side, it's feeling humiliated, then let me humble myself. Come to where you are. And speaking of coming to his side, uh, Mwalimu, uh, he's saying that uh, he's not going to allow tribal parties to join him. Like he's not accepting coalitions. Which is a tribal party. Yeah, but no, he's calling other, all, all other parties tribal. I think it's only Uda. That which is, is not a tribal. Uh, which is not tribal party. <laughs> <laughs> which is not tribal party. And that is what is bringing friction between him now with the three prominent people I know. Uh, Isaac Ruto is saying he's not folding his... Is, is it called um, Chama Chama Shinani, Chama Chama Shinani Party yep. to join order? Uh, there's also Chama Chakazi of Moses Kuria. Yeah. Of, uh, Moses Kuria is from Kiambu. Yeah. And, and there is um, the service party of Mwangi Kiwinjuri. These, these people have been allies of the deputy president. Yeah. So the deputy president has laid it in black and white that if you want to work with him, then you fold your party and join him. And these people are saying, no, we are not folding our party. We are, you cannot give us conditions for joining you. It's you who need us more than we need you. Do you think this is going to affect his performance? Uh, okay, I, I do not know the criteria uses to call a party a tribal party, because if you, he's only saying that it's UDA, which is a national party. Mm. That's what he's saying. But this UDA has just one, one MP. One MP. Yeah, so I don't know what makes it a national okay. party. Okay, how about ODM that swept all the seats in Kilifi? <laughs> Is it a tribal party from Kilifi? For him, it's a tribal party. So if, if ODM wants a coalition with UDA, then UDA has to, ODM has to fold because ODM is a tribal party. Like all, all other, most parties, according to him, are tribal parties. In fact, they said even Jubilee, Jubilee is now a tribal party, the, the allies of the deputy president. Jubilee is now a tribal party, in quotes. Now, if Jubilee wants to join, uh, there, should be, there will be no coalition between Uda and any other party. If you want to go the deputy president way, you have to fold your party and join him. This is where I want your opinion on. Now, I'm almost thinking like this. Huh? Let's be very sincere. The DP should be the last person to be using the word tribe. Mm. Yeah, he should be, be the last person. He should be uh, selling the agenda of nationalism. <laughs> but you see, any time when uh, a party is formed, you say it's a tribal party. Okay, was URP a tribal party? Mm. That's where it started from. That was his party. Mm. Was it a tribal party? Mm. That is the question you need so to ask himself. Yeah. Now, let's learn to treat each and every person who's playing the national politics as a nationalist. Mm. If all of us need to get to the same platform, you know, when you brand me a tribal, when you brand uh, ODM as a tribal party, or you uh, brand WIPE a tribal party, then you actually telling the leader of WIPA that you are coming in not as a national leader, mm. you are coming in as a tribal leader. Mm. Mark Hugh, uh, uh, Honorable Kalonzo Msioka, has been the vice president of the country. Mm. Musalem David has been the vice president of this country which is not different from what the DP is holding. Probably the difference is the duration that the DP has held the office, which is longer than uh, the duration that Kalonzo Msioka held the, the office mm. and uh, Musalia Mundavadi. Mm. But that one is not a reason enough. Okay. 
Oh, um, let's get to this BBI thing. Uh, you know what the BBI proposed? Yeah. More money to machinani, some positions at the executive, some added positions, and uh, some regions were added constituencies. constituencies. And in fact, the place that got the lion's share is central, Mount Kenya. Uh, Mount Kenya. And it was based on the one, one vote one sh shilling, one word. Yeah. Yeah. So <clears throat> they are going to miss this out. Yeah. In fact, there was a list of 27 constituencies that risk being scrapped because uh, BBI uh, has failed and all that. Uh, there is a perception which can be backed by evidence that uh, the DP has a grip in Mount Kenya. And now, is appearing some, I saw so many videos recorded by some youth from Mount Kenya that uh, the fact that DP is celebrating the fall of BBI, it means it doesn't mean good for the central Kenya. Uh, what's your take on this? Do you think this has its implication on its support base to the Mount? Uh, which is the system are you using to say that the DP has the basket of Mount Kenya? Yeah, no, no, that has been the perception. The fact it's that the, perception. The, the fact that they they won Kiamba, they also won somewhere in Georgia. Uh, Georgia, they also won Georgia, and uh, <clears throat> there are also a big chunk of politicians from the Mount, the Moses, the likes of Moses, uh, Jane, or Alice Wahome, Dindinyoro, so many politicians coming from the Mount that back him. So yeah. that would, be, how can I forget even the uh, the former chief whip, is called who, the Muranga senator. Uh, Kangata. Um, yeah, Kangata, Irungu Kangata. Many of them. Uh, the latest entrant, I think, is uh, the women, rep, the Kembu women. Rep, that. They are there for him, and their position or their claim is that he has the grip on Mount Kenya. So, do you think this is going to affect it? The fact that some people view that he is uh, is not you. supporting the Mount Kenya agenda. Let, let, let me take you back uh, to 2013. ODM got two seats from Mount Kenya. Okay. Uh, did it mean that uh, that was the stronghold of ODM? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know, politics is very dynamic. Eh? And then you realize that at some given point, there are people do not vote for development. People will vote for their interest, uh, interest of the moment. Yes. Now, for the DP, probably there is that kind of euphoria that is in, in central. Mm -hmm. That, uh, again, since he's not been on the ballot for us to be able to see how many votes he can bag from Mount Kenya, mm -hmm. then we cannot be able, we can only run that one. It's just an assumption mm -hmm. that he has a support base mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. But we can be able to use facts against Rai Rodinga mm -hmm. because he's been on the ballot and we know the number of votes is been able to muscle from Mount Kenya. Mm -hmm. For the uh, deputy president, probably 2022 will confirm what we, we are seeing. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you can promise uh, a lady a very beautiful wedding, mm -hmm. but you know the marriage starts after the wedding. Mm -hmm. Now that's when you can be able to say you were able to confirm all the things that you've been promising. At this time, probably uh, the people who are following the DP because I haven't seen a clear agenda for the DP for Mount Kenya. The other time, okay, they've been talking about the bottom-up approach. Personally, I do not know what he means by that because one of the lawyers from his camp <laughs> was told to explain to Kenyans and he couldn't. what is the bottom and she up. Couldn't. Yeah, she couldn't. She said it's working bottom downwards. <laughs> now, that one makes us to start asking mm. if the person who's supposed to sell the agenda does not understand what she is selling to Kenyans, then why should I be able to follow somebody who does not even understand? Mm. Because worldwide, we do not have anything called a bottom-up approach. Yes. We have got two kind of economies. Yes. We have got state-controlled economy, mm -hmm. and then we have liberal economy. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones which are working even for the countries that have prospered. Maybe has invented a new one now. 
called bottom up now there are three and it's going to start uh, the, it's going to test it using the kenyan people <laughs> Okay, we, we <laughs> can go that direction or not. But do you think this the fall of BBI is a political boost to him? Do you think he is now no. more energized now that the BBI has fallen because we've seen him celebrate? You know, the good thing is that we have got a history where we can be able to refer everything. Mm. Uh, in 2005, mm. there was a competition between Mike Kibaki and Rai Rodinga. Mm. Rai Rodinga carried it today. Mm. Oh, what do you mean? Yes. They no carried the day in 2005. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. okay, okay. So, I remember Rairo Dinga celebrated. Yes. Did that kind of celebration got reflected at the ballot? No. For when the general election the, At came. the general election. Mm. Was it reflected? The, it was, it was, <laughs> uh, there were... Mikey Baki carried the day. But there were claims of rigging and all claims that, will which be there. brought chaos, and you know that's how Raila became now, the prime minister. You see, and all uh, quite unfortunate, we can be able to say that, mm. but there is what we say it's the truth. Mm. The only person who has the mandate of declaring the president elect in Kenya mm. is the chairman of IBC. Mm. At that time, we had the ECK, Electoral yes. Commission of Kenya, yes. which was headed by Kivuitu. Yes. So Kivuitu declared Mwai Kibaki the president-elect. Mm. So it will definitely mean that Rai Rodinga lost. Mm. All of these other claims will always be there. Mm. Uh, that situation will also play in 2022. Mm. We wanted to see how the deputy president will react if at all he will lose. Now, when you look at the BBI, it's not the test of the poll mm. at the general elections. Mm. Actually, even the by-elections will not be the test of the general elections. I know things that we should separate from maybe that referendum of 2005 and this, is that that was a referendum for the whole country. Yeah. But this is a court decision. That's, that is yeah, true. This is a court decision of, of very few people. It's just the interpretation of the law. That so is true. Uh, it has nothing to do with the really? numbers. Yeah, it has nothing. So then what is he celebrating? Which numbers is making him celebrate? Uh, there's a perception that he, he didn't want this PBI thing. Now he has a backing of the law that he was right, that he was legally right. So he's in, <laughs> in the right track. <laughs> you know, you forget one thing. Uh, the law will cut forward and backwards. Mm. Probably at this time, mm. it worked in his favor. There will yes. be a time when things might not work in his favor. Mm. Look at 2017, when the same uh, court ruled against the, uh, the declaration of Uhuru Kenyatta as the president-elect mm. of this country. Mm. What was the statement of William Ruto? He said, Maraga, you've had your day. Our day will also come. Mm. What did that one mean? It means that th since things did not go in his way, now he was able to attack the judiciary. Mm. Now, the things that are going against, uh, okay, well, now that the things probably have gone towards this direction, now we can be able to praise. You know, this double speak uh, is almost never a politician. I wish uh, we could be able just uh, come out and say, okay, uh, the court has made a ruling, let's abide by it and just end. Uh, the element of whether you accept the ruling or not is neither here nor there. Mm. Because at the end of the day, it's not everything that will be ruled in your favor. Mm. You know, sometimes, even uh, a common person who takes a case to court, sometimes they don't lose it because they did not, or something did, uh, the, 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 the act was not uh, done to them. Mm. It's because they lacked the facts to present the court. Mm. In a court, we do not have uh, about what you know. It's about what you can prove. Yes. If at all the court was proven beyond reasonable doubt that the law was not followed in uh, crafting the BBI and the process so far, mm -hmm. then it's high time we also need to go back and say that we are learning. Mm -hmm. Because if they started a process in the wrong way, then next time, you know, even as a, uh, as a private citizen, I can be able to start that process. Okay, let's come back to this side of the divide, the political divide, the Raila Odinga axis, because it's very clear that we have 
a two horse race. The third race, the third horse is coming, the Oka one. But now clearly even there was a, <coughs> an opinion poll, I think it's in the Star newspaper, that is placing the deputy president to be ahead but cannot garner the 50 plus 1 percent and all that. And now it's like uh, former Prime Minister Raila Odinga acted like he really needed this BBI to win. Do you think it's the case? No. I don't think uh, because, uh, okay, first of all, uh, the opinion of the, since time I started understanding politics, we've always had a two horse race in Kenya. Mm. Uh, in, you go to Uganda, we had a two horse race. That in was fact, Bobby Wine and Wanda, um, Seven. Wanda, you go to US, we had a two horse race. Mm. So the third force rarely emerges from. It's anywhere. just maybe a spoiler <laughs> or a It's not even a maker, spoiler. Uh, uh, Kingmaker <laughs> or something. So in Kenya, the truth is we'll have a two horse race. Mm. That one will be the DP, probably against the Right Honorable uh, Vairo Dinga. Yes. But the opinion poll in Kenya has never reflected the truth at the ballot. You mean? Show me which one reflected the truth at the ballot. From uh, coming up from 2007 to 2013, the all the pollsters were putting uh, Right Honorable Rairo Dinga mm. ahead of mm. everyone else. Mm, mm. But at the ballot, things were different. There have been claims of rigging. Do you think this is the case? I had asked you this before, but now, now opinion polls differ. Now that opinion polls differ with the reality on the ground, then there are claims of rigging. Then there are claims of even the, the you can remember in 2017, even the court upheld the claims by the opposition that there was rigging and all that. So do you think there, there's, there are these disparities because of the rigging? No, the system, I, you remember even the server, <laughs> they refused even to open the server and all that. Up to even now, the server has not been opened despite the court order that the server be opened. But again, you see that is an, uh, the police that's just an opinion. Yes. And. Uh, Politics but is, is bound to change. It's like research. Like but again, they go it's to people. politics is bound to change. Oh. Politics is bound to change. You, you can uh, start you very right. well. Yeah, yes. You get to the level, you fail to sustain the stamina of the, of the agenda you were selling. Mm. Probably somebody will come and counter it with something else. Mm. Then people will come think. We thought this was the best. Mm. You know, politics is dynamic. It's mm. about to change. Mm -hmm. So for the DP to be uh, given uh, the lead at the moment is very normal. Mm. Again, that's the reason why I said, uh, if you look at from 2007, 2013, 2017, all along, but right Honor has been leading in the polls. But when we get to the ballot, we see a different result. Back to my question, which you seem to be evading. I've not avoided any questions. Did question. Raila need BBI to win elections no. in Kenya? This one has nothing to do with the general elections. It's only us who are attaching it to the general elections. Mm. Because let me ask you, uh, if uh, what could have triggered probably the Mount Kenya to, to vote for Raila Odinga? Was it mm. their constituencies? Mm -hmm. That were being added mm -hmm. in the and in fact it was you know it was uh, there was protest back in Nyanza, uh, they were given almost no constituencies. They were added so, almost no constituencies. So again, you, uh, that one uh, tells us to go back to the reality. Yes, that that will not be the reason why mm -hmm. uh, the people will wake up to go and vote, because you realize that people will go and vote for their interest of that moment mm. not because somebody brought anything if at all we are supposed to look at it from that direction then we will ask ourselves uh, running up to 2013 what projects did the honorable his excellency uru kenyatta did that made him to become a president mm. how many times did we see him going for church donations and fundraising. Mm. They were very minimal. Actually, they were, almost, they were almost none. Mm, none. Now, if 
he was able to be elected at that time without all of that, mm. then even this one will not be the reason. People will look at their interest at that moment. Mm. That's what will drive them to go and vote. Malimu, as we finish this, uh, as we are winding up, uh, we have about one year, just about one year to yeah. the next general election. They say one day in politics is a lot of time. Yeah. So things are likely to really change going forward. I want your prediction. I can see you are politically very wise. Your prediction of what you think our political arena would be may become, say, February next year. Uh, with the, <laughs> with the ongoing going realignments, the closed door meetings, uh, the attacks and counterattacks and all this, what do you think is set up to change in near future, say January or February 2022? Probably by January we'll be, be having, a, because so far we have, uh, we have the principles of NASA already existing in NASA, so NASA does not exist. Mm -hmm. Now we'll have a new realignment. Probably it will not be even in Oka. We will not be having Oka. We will have a different name again. Mm -hmm. So by February, things could have taken shape. We will be knowing who will be go against who. Mm -hmm. Then, like we say, it will be a two horse race. Mm -hmm. there, there will be flag work also will be escorting the, the, the horses to the wedding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> because that what will be normal in Kenya. Yes. Now from there, we will start be able, we will start to be seeing who will be in whose camp. Mm. But again, it might be that by February, people could not have aligned themselves mm. in the right way. Mm. Then uh, by the time like uh, six months of the elections, or like uh, sometimes, sometimes even five, mm. some people will be still be jumping ship. So by that is the time, now we'll be able to say, so and so will be in so and so's camp. So and so will be in so and so's camp. So then, you know, a lot, a lot is is set to change. Yeah. Judging by history, uh, I know you are aware that PNU that took in twenty well, two or seven was formed about six months to election. The same to TNA. Yeah. Yeah, that took in twenty thirteen. Twenty thirteen. Yes. So now we have about one year. So you are right that we may see. We may not different. even have Uda in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> we may have a totally we different never, thing. We may have a different thing <laughs> because, uh, you know, th very many things change. Mm. Probably at the moment, mm. nobody has poked the holes on uh, the, the initials uh, Uda. Mm. But if you, look, you read at the social media, mm. some people are already branding it Uganda Development Agency. Oh, because of the link. <laughs> because the, of the link. They are doing uh, seven ADP link. So it, things might change. Maybe probably the party which we are likely to see at the ballot again, probably it's ODM. Mm. These other ones we are not very sure. They might change. Why are you they sure that brand. the ODM will be there? It has, it has to the test of time. What if they maybe form other alliances so that it won't be there? I again? said, which we are likely to think that it will be there. Mm. Because it has stood the test of time. Uda it's has been not, there since Yeah, it has been... It 205, actually, it was it formed has stood, in it, it has stood the uh, test of time. Mm. But Uda, mm. you know, again, uh, we do not know. Remember before the Uda came to be, there was another party which had just come up. Mm. It had some offices somewhere in uh, up, uh, up, uh, uh, Upper Hill. Yes. Then it disappeared. I don't know whether you remember the party which was associated. It was uh, Jubilee yes. Asili. Yes. Oh, I remember Jubilee Asili. Where did it But we know parties in Kenya are like not parties <laughs> without people. It, we, if Raila now today will defect to Jubilee Asili, do you know Jubilee Asili will be one of the most that famous parties in Kenya? That is the reason why I said eh, we had Jubilee Asili, which was shaking the country at that time. Finally, we can't go without speaking about the realignment of Mount Kenya. They are, the parties are coming together. They are saying they are bringing their people together so that they have a bargaining power. I've, we've read everywhere that they were seen to be 
uh, majority of them in Uda or in other parties. But now they are regrouping. You saw the likes of Martha Karua, Moses Kuria, uh, that uh, Mwangi Kiwinjuri and all those people coming together that they want to begin. Who do you think is set from to lose from this if it really sees the light of the day? <laughs> uh, it's so definite. You know now, <laughs> Mount Kenya is a battlefield. It's it's now just a swing vote. Because until be, because there's nobody vying, nobody has come out strongly that is vying from that position right. or what. I don't do think somebody <laughs> can, can come out to vie then it's just left like people have vied from those areas who have not made it. Uh, but they have also said that they are producing a presidential candidate. Mm. You've never you've not heard them. Yeah, they that. are they say they are producing so a that presidential candidate. So far at the moment what it can be okay, I've been able to have a discussion with our friends from the from from the mountain. Yes. When you get somebody from Kiambu, Muranga, Nyeri, Nyeri. and the other ones mm. Even the common people, you start realizing that there is that kind of dis disconnect. Mm. There are those who are saying they are pro the deputy president. There are those who are saying still uh, His Excellency Uru Kenyatta is mm. the kingpin. Mm. You, where you will indicate say, what is that's say. where we will mm -hmm, go. Mm -hmm. then there are those ones who feel like we are the conservatives. Yes. Those who just don't change. We are we just watching everything. Yes. So if that is the voice that is coming from that ground, it will definitely mean that Mount Kenya does not belong to anyone at the moment. And there are also those who want one of their own or something. Yeah. So that one says the means that Mount Kenya will be a swing vote mm. for anyone. But if we wanted to look at it and say who's going to lose, then we we'll have to go back. During the Kibaki time, mm -hmm. Mount Kenya was intact and it voted overwhelmingly for Kibaki. For Kibaki, yes. During Uhuru's time, mm. it voted overwhelmingly as for a block Uhuru. for his excellence Uhuru Kenyatta. Mm -hmm. Now, in uh, this time, when we are seeing it scattered, then it means somebody will lose that block. That yes. will be the deputy president. Now you are he admitting. Lose. Uh -huh. No, okay. uh, uh, that is the truth. Yes. Because we are looking at where we've come from, yes. the way they voted. Mm -hmm. Now, we are also looking at where we're headed to. During these two elections, uh, that is 2013 and 2017, plus the, that, the, uh, the ones of Kibaki, Mount Kenya voted as a block yes. for one individual. Yes. When we're headed to 2022, Mount Kenya seems to be even going back to the drawing board. Mm -hmm. How comes you've been uh, found barefooted? Now, if that block will not go the same way it is, yes, the way it was in 2013, mm. the way it was in 2017, mm. if it not go that way, mm. then the deputy president will lose a lot. Mm. Remember this. Uh, this block has not been voting for Ayrodinga. And if this block is not going the same way it is to the deputy president, and then you get that uh, Right Honorable Rai Rodinga is going to get a percentage, a sizable percentage, let's talk about like 30 percent from the mountain, then it will be plus for him. Mm. It will be a negative for the deputy president. So the deputy president must, he has no option. Mm. must work extra hard mm. not to get the 89 percent that Uhuru Kenyatta got mm. to get 100 plus one percent okay for that mountain to remain so much intact mm. any negative from the mountain will, affect, will affect him deputy president directly. but again that's when we are looking at the mountain alone mm. then we also need to look at the other sides the block that voted is uh, uh, right honorable Rai Rodinga. It also must also remain intact. Do you think it is still intact as we speak now? Uh, the coast, the Nyanza, the Western, the what else? What, 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 the you, are, the Ma what, you, what you know? What you know? Are we seeing that has not happened before? Mm. 
I've never seen, maybe the shifts at the coast, <laughs> them forming their party, they can be like what the mountain people are doing because they're also forming their own party. No. Maybe they can front their own candidate and all that. No, fronting their own candidate could be a different thing. But remember, uh, when we look back from 2007, Najib Balala mm -hmm. was in the Pentagon. Yes. Coming into 2013, mm. he had his own party. Yes. Actually, he didn't make it as a senator, the position which he had gone for. So, for Balala to have had a, a part of his own, mm. it was inconsequential mm. to the ODM which carried the, yeah, the cost. It didn't affect so, it so much. It's the same thing we are seeing uh, the governor of Kilifi doing. We've talked so much about others, Malimu. Now, let's talk. Uh, You've told us that you are vying, eh? as we yes, conclude, uh, <laughs> as we conclude, eh? uh, which constituency are you vying, or, or which ward, or which county? No, I'm vying as an MP of Kitutu Masawa. So that next year we area. may see you at the parliament legislature? Not we may. Eh. I don't see the reason why you are talking on behalf of the people of Kitutu Masawa. <laughs> 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 because they are the people who will decide. So you're very sure. <laughs> tell them something as we conclude. Tell them something that is your camera so yeah. that we... I want this. to tell the people of Kitutu Masawa this. Number one, we've had the, the all-season politician going for the same seat all the time. But this time we have what we call the paradigm shift. We have new faces. Let's not continue buying what we've been told all over the time. Let's take the new policies. Let's hear what new does the person coming on board has to say. Because if you're going to play the same politics, the same way you played it all the time, then we're going to lose it. Because at the end of the day, we know we've been given, uh, we have always been given money for us to vote. But come to think of it, we only eat that money for one day, then we will lose it. Then tutakuwa tunabaki tukilia. This time around, we have an agenda. When we come into the ground, before you tell us to give you, to give you money, ask us what is it that you are going to do for us. Well, let me campaign in Metosha. Campaign in Metosha. Should pay for this before you leave this room. But you've been very instrumental in uh, uh, saying the, or uh, helping, uh, uh, talking about the current affairs, and uh, you've been very uh, useful. You are brainy politically. I see you can make it. I call him Mwalimu is Geoffrey on song. I call him Mwalimu because he was a teacher to one of us here, Stella or Mwenga. Yeah. So this has been Youth and Politics. We started with the newspaper review and extended to Youth and Politics. And I'm coming back with um, two panelists to discuss the social topic of today is that is marriage phobia. Kusema ni kwanini watu wanaogopa kuwa ama kuolewa. That is what we are going to discuss immediately after this. Keep it here.